and you just heard it kick on. Don't know how well that's going to come out on the video, and I thought I'd charge this battery, but it's still only one bar. This is the York Affinity 3S air conditioner at my friend's house, the 2006, I think. And it is a straight cool unit. Um, it has R410A refrigerant. Um, the house was built in 1961. It is two stories. Um, not including the finished basement. It's about 2,300 square feet. Four bedrooms, two and a half baths. The finished basement does not have air conditioning. It's just the um, first and second floors. And that, like I said, the central air was put in, about, put in in about 2006. It did not originally have central air. And the house has a... The, there's no forced air heat. It has a separate oil-fired uh, hot water heating system with a 1990... This battery is about to die as well, but unlike last time, I have a spare. So yeah, this is the 2006 York Affinity, Affinity Series 3S air conditioner at my friend's house. It is a straight cool unit matched up with an air handler. And the air handler is up in the attic. And I'm waiting for my friend to turn it on. And like I said in yesterday's video, um, the house is 2,300 square feet, four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, um, built in 1961 two stories um, central air was not original it has oil baseboard heat um, which is original but the boiler was replaced in like 1990 and my friend does not know how to work the thermostat So I'm going to put a new, put the new battery in this camera, set it on the air conditioner, and go back in the house and see if he needs any assistance. I'll be back. Alright, I will be back.
was the York Affinity Series 3S straight cool air conditioner firing up. And I am still amazed by how quiet these units are. And it was as simple as um, setting the thermostat from 74 to 72 to get the unit to turn on. It is a white Rogers, just a generic white Rogers non-programmable thermostat. Meant for a, um, just a, a, a straight school, a, a straight cool central air conditioner with a gas furnace, a split system. Or actually, you know what, I think those thermostats can do, um, package units as well but even though this the um the forced air system doesn't have any heat it's just an air conditioner it's a thermostat that could be used with a straight cool air conditioner and gas furnace combination it didn't have the little em heat thing on it so it's just for a gas furnace or an oil furnace and a straight cool air conditioner but yeah this is my friend's 2006-ish York Affinity Series Central Air Conditioner. Really nice unit. Blinds are getting nice and sweaty. Yeah, I think this has a Copeland scroll compressor single stage. Though it might have a variable speed air handler, I don't know. But yeah, as you can see it has the R410A refrigerant and since this house did not have central air before, there weren't any lines that had to be evacuated of R22. They just put it in. And it's actually kind of a tight fit because they couldn't fit all the ductwork in the ceiling. There's some um, ductwork hanging down in the downstairs closet. And the first and second floors total 2,300 square feet, and the basement is finished, and that's probably yeah, 500, 600 square feet, the finished part of it anyway, and that is not air conditioned. I actually don't even think that has heat. Like it, like it has, a, I think it has electric baseboard heat, but I don't think the hot water baseboard heat is down there. It just has electric heat. Alright, so, um, I am going to set the thermostat back to 74 degrees. And I believe this is a four ton. Actually, I take that back. This might be a 3.5 nominal ton. I'm going to take a picture of the um, data sheet in a minute. Let me go shut the unit off.
All right, good, shut up. All right, running out of time here, so I'm gonna um, restart the camera. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, this is a, I believe, a 3.5 nominal ton unit. The house is like 2,200 or 2,300 square feet, so um, that's actually about right for a house of this size. 3.5 or 4 nominal ton. 3.5 to 4 nominal ton is about right for a house this size in this area. And like I said earlier, or in one of my earlier videos, um, it is not all that hot out. It's probably in the 80s right now, which is actually not that bad. But it is like oppressively humid right now and all sticky and disgusting. I, I hate this kind of weather. But it is nice and comfortable inside the house, let me tell you. Even with the thermostat set in the mid-70s, it is extremely comfortable in the house. And I put my hand under one of the vents in the second floor. Uh, on the second floor and um, the air coming out of that vent it's like very powerful like um, so that means it's properly sized for the house like my um, like my aunt's house the really big one with the five ton train heat pump the system works but um, because that house also has the finished basement with the vents in it and because that that house should really have two systems the air coming out of the out of the vents on the second floor in both heat and cool mode is very weak. So um, the fact that the air coming out of the vents in this house is strong means that this is a properly sized system. Or um, another good example would be um, this 4,500 square foot house. It was an open house that was for sale and I went inside it with my parents and it was 4,500 square feet including the finished basement and it had a 5 nominal ton Bryant straight cool air conditioner and a Bryant oil furnace from 1991 and even the, the vent in the room above the garage or yeah the, the, the bedroom above the garage was blowing really really hard really really strong and that house felt very comfortable even on that 90 degree day in the summer of 2010. I think that was July. So yeah, it varies. It depends on insulation, how well the, duct, the ducting for the central air conditioning and heating is designed, and a number, number of other reasons. But um, yeah, the, this system seems to be perfectly sized for this house. And again, like I said, it is oppressively hot, like oppressively humid right now, so. Um, I'm going to wait for my other friend to get here, and then we're going to drive to Puck. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Out.